So you live up north in the snow belt and you're getting sick and tired of it. You got offered a promotion and you're moving. Moving day. And you're headed to sunny Florida and you're going to be living by the beach, living the dream. Oh yeah, you're walking on the beach, you're going, you know, surfing, whatever, you're just enjoying life and everything. And you wake up one morning and turn the TV on and on the news, oh boy. There's a hurricane coming, and you're asking yourself, what in the hell do I do now? So, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you out. Now, I have done extensive videos on a lot of different topics, and to show you how to be prepared, what some of the things that you need, and um, all those type of things. What this is, is emergency preparedness. And basically, this is kind of a refresher course just to get you um, interested in what you may need and to have on hand in case of a hurricane. Now, we're going to start right off. All right, you got rice. <clears throat> rice is a great staple. You probably already have some in your, your house and your cupboard and everything else. You know, it's great to have. It'll stay for quite a while. And there are a lot of different ways that you can um, make sure that all these products will last even longer than what they will in their regular boxes or bags and that type of stuff and I've covered some of those videos you can go back and check those out um, dried beans uh, a lot of people don't like dried beans because of the time it takes you got to soak them and everything but you know hey you know they'll last a long 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 time uh, compared to canned beans if you like canned beans buy canned beans you know they'll last for two three years on a shelf so I don't know about anybody else, but in the morning I need my coffee. Now if I don't get my coffee, I'm like one mean grizzly bear. So you want to make sure, especially if you don't have a generator or anything like that, because if I'm going to tell you right now, in a hurricane, the first thing that goes is the power, and the second thing that goes is the water. So um, especially if you live in a flood-prone area. So anyways. You want to make sure that you have either instant coffee or some way to make coffee, which we'll be covering in a later video. But right now we're going to be talking about instant coffee and having powdered coffee made. Now if you drink your coffee black, you don't have to worry about this at all. But if you don't drink your coffee black, like me and my wife, um, you want to make sure that you have something to fall back on. Alright, so I buy one of these powdered hazelnut and a French vanilla, put it in my hurricane emergency kit and I have it. If the power goes out, I do have a generator, um, but if I run out and I can't get out because of, you know, the roads are blocked because of all the trees and stuff down, um, I don't have to worry about it right at the moment. I just crack open one of these. Now, you're going to have, you know, if you have kids and stuff, you want to make sure that you have uh, something that's going to kind of comfort them and um, kind of take their mind off things you know kids like certain things you know they like certain foods uh, you want to remember that when you're shopping for your hurricane supplies um, Kraft macaroni and cheese is probably one of the best things I mean I don't know anybody that doesn't really like Kraft macaroni and cheese and if you do where'd you come from so um, Kraft macaroni and cheese you know you gotta have milk and butter you know, if you want to make certain things, you got to have milk and butter, you know, powdered milk. Now, I know it's not the greatest in the world and nobody likes powdered milk and I get it, you know, but, you know, if you was to make one of these to cook with, to, to add into ingredients to cook with, um, more than likely, um, it may not taste the same. It may have a little bit of a different taste, but it will be eatable, you know, and I have been told that if you put a little tablespoon of sugar into your powdered milk, um, it does make it a lot better. Now butter, you can get these right on Amazon. I order these on Amazon. You buy them in a 6 or a 12 pack. Okay, and it's butter. It comes from Australia. Now these will last for 10 years. So if you bought a 6 pack, you know, they're going to last for 10 years in your storage, in your emergency supply kit. Alright, now you want to store all this kind of stuff in a cool, dry place. Uh, don't store it in a hot garage, especially if you live in Florida, Texas, someplace like this where it gets really, really hot. 
because uh, the stuff is not going to last no matter how you store it. Um, food does not like extreme heat. Um, <clears throat> moving on down the line, you got pancake mix. You know, you can make pancakes and stuff. Oatmeal, you can do a lot of different things with oatmeal. Um, instant mashed potatoes, you know, I mean, those things are great. Uh, you, you know, you, you just have to figure out what it is that your family really likes and make sure that you have that on hand and make sure that you, um, you have a way to make sure that you know how to cook that, which we'll be covering in a video coming soon. So today was just kind of a refresher course on some dry goods and some of the things that you, you may want to have. Um, once again, this video series is emergency preparedness. Um, it's just kind of like a refresher course. My name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.